Whoa! Hey there, a little birdie told me that you want to make a movie. <laughs> well, there are plenty of resources to learn the ins and outs of directing. But directing isn't just about logistics. You're working with people after all. In this video, we're going to give you three tips on how to be not just a director, but a good director. Trademark. So let's jump on set and get the 411 on directing actors. Can't believe you cheated on me with my father. I didn't just cheat on you with your father. I also cheated on you with your high school driving instructor. Not Barry! <laughs> Cut! No, no the, the line is with your high school driving instructor as well! As well! How hard is that? Well, it's like two words and it doesn't really mean anything, so... Yeah, it's just like two words and it doesn't really mean anything. I am the god of this universe! You are my talking prop! You are nothing! Uh-oh. This is no way to make friends. Remember, treat everyone on your set with the utmost respect. A captain is nothing without his crew. And the director is not god of the universe. No, the producer is. Let's see how a good director would approach this situation. Cut! I, I, that, was, that was really great, everyone. Let's just try it one more time. Make sure you really feel that betrayal. And don't forget, the line is your high school driving instructor as well. All right, got it. That was pretty duh bomb, if you ask me. But actors aren't the only people the director has to interact with. Let's see how to talk to your crew. So what kind of coverage were you thinking? Sure. Uh-oh. The last thing a director should ever say is, uh, or I don't know. You're supposed to be the one with all the answers. So I gotta know everything? <laughs> of course not. Second version of me that exists in this universe of nebulous identity and existential dread. No one can have all the answers. But a good director knows how to get around this. Let's watch. So what kind of coverage were you thinking? Hmm... What do you think? Well, I think we should get some simple coverage of this scene, mm -hmm. and the next one we can get mm -hmm. some specialty shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the right move to make. So, <laughs> what's the director's job? Giving directions, of course. But you gotta know how to give your directions in a way that's easy for your cast to understand. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So, how do you want me to play the scene? I'm really glad you asked me that question. See, here's what I'm thinking for this performance. I want it to be really big, massive performance, super See, deep. this character is very, uh, very, a, a victim very of domestic abuse, emotional girl, abuse, you see? spousal She's abuse, very all sorts of abuse, and that's an but issue. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's about family. And one other John thing. Godard, Let me try to explain this a little bit more clearly. One of the best movies of all time. I don't even want you I like to say that movie where he kills the guy. I like Akira Doc. Kurosawa. See, basically what I want you Brian to do De Palma. is read is that we my live mind. in a society. Griffith. And when you live in a society, I want this you have problems to feel very George hurtful. Lucas, Star Wars, tinge of not teal. all that big a fan of it. Just that it's just pretty has a Have you ever heard of Stanley you know Kubrick? I want and you to look into my eyes. What I want you to try to decide for it. The Kurosawa as you're reading, but mostly purple. Does that make sense? Talk about a snooze fest. Let's try to be a little, or a lot, more concise. So, how do you want me to play the scene? Play this like... 
It's the most heartbreaking decision you've ever had to make, but you have to because you know it's the right one. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, got it. What are you looking at? So there you have it. Three tips on how to be not just a director, but a good director. So all you home skillets out there, go out and make something. See you next time.